What is up guys and welcome back. Right, this video I'm going to show you the locations, how to grab the ingredients for napalm as well as, well, just general crafting materials. Now, I go from each of these places, they're all on a fast travel point, starting off with the uh, lumber mill. And this one, the most kerosene I've got is 11. I think this run I get a little bit less, but um, by the time you've gone through these locations just once each, you'll have more than enough materials to craft napalm as well as your remote bombs and stuff like that. So kicking things off, as you can see, polystyrene and kerosene right there. And you can see the ingredients needed for napalm. And polystyrene is probably the hardest one to find, but um, you could travel back to this point and pick up that polystyrene again. It just respawns um, after a little while. I don't think you'll be able to do it straight away, but uh, lots of materials for health as well and molotovs obviously kind of the same thing and the spark igniter those are pretty rare but there's tons of them in this there's a box of nails on top of that box down there on top of the crate another kerosene right there and pipe for the pipe bombs now the only reason i've chosen these is like i said before is because they are at fast travel points so you can just go from one to the other and there's your spark igniter you can go from one to the other and it'll be very very quick there's another one right there so Already you've got more than enough to create a couple, but there's plenty more on this little run. They like to be on top as well. Another kerosene right there. And spark igniter, a third one in a very, very close environment. And polystyrene as well as your napalm bottle, along with some polystyrene, I think. And there's another one, spark igniter right there. Already the run is invaluable. Um, another kerosene because I mean molotovs and uh, the napalm is going to be the majority of what you use and I've just posted well going to be posting in the next couple of hours a video of every single horde location and taking them down that's hands down the most fun I had in the game was taking out the hordes and now at game completion and got the platinum I was hoping there would be an option oh there's two polystyrenes right there um, I was hoping there'd be a way to reset the hordes kind of like you can reset outposts in Far Cry and stuff like that it would be very very cool because at the moment there's nothing to do anymore so what I am going to do is start the hardest setting and uh, see how hard it actually is because the hordes there was a couple of difficult ones but um, also there's also some poly polystyrene on the ground right there guys um, the hordes I started counting the ears as in you do a horde Go down to uh, the bounty, hand your bounty in, and then the next time you do a horde, you can count how many ears you have, and it gives you an idea of how many uh, freakers are in the horde. And the most I came across, I think, was 400, um, but the majority is less than 150. So I'm hoping on hard mode, uh, that is going to increase dramatically. I did post the one video about the horde in this area, and that was loads. And at that time, I wasn't counting the ears, but um, in the late stage hordes in Highway 97, I think there's 13 hordes there. Um, they aren't very big, but uh, some of them are just loads and loads and loads of fun. So continuing with the run, some more kerosene right there. Nails, blades, bottles, and another bottle over there. I mean, when I first came here, I was looking for kerosene, and like I mentioned before, I had a guy I found 11 on my on one of these runs. I just kind of went around the outskirts of this area of the mill. Uh, going into the cabins that you'll find, as in you'll find two more over here now. Now the first one, nothing spawned for me this time. The second one, there was a couple of things, but when you go into the main building, um, there's just so much, so many craftables or crafting materials. And like I said in the, in the description, or oh, there was something underneath there, I only saw it now. Um, I'll, I'll list everything that I do find in this run, so if you are looking for something that isn't here, then yeah, don't do it. But um, this run is going to give you everything you need to craft the napalm, as well as the remote bombs, which are pretty much the most important, I'd say. The proximity bomb is pretty cool, but, uh, you know, if you put that outside a horde's nest um, or a freaker nest, then uh, it just takes one freaker to come out and it explodes. But the remote bomb, obviously, you can wait a couple of seconds until it's surrounded and be detonated then afterwards. And then also the, um, the tractor bomb is obviously very, very useful. More kerosene right there. Uh, the tractor bomb makes it too easy almost. I don't actually use them in the video. And then I came around the corner and bang, two more kerosene as well as the spark igniter. So at this point I was laughing. And that's where I was trying to get my thumbnail, I think. 
Okay, now we're going to go... Oh, there is actually another area. I remember um, the first time I did this run, there was another area. I think it was upstairs again to my left. If there are stairs going up, go and have a look upstairs and you'll find a lot more stuff. Then I'm not sure why I didn't go up. But uh, there is more in this area that I didn't get. So from here, we're going to jump to the next area, which is again going to be a... I think it's a narrow checkpoint. Yeah, this is the community college. Now, not the actual college place, although you can go in there uh, and there's loads, but because you spawn right over here, uh, that's why it just makes it a lot quicker. So from here, we're going to find kerosene off the bat right there and polystyrene again, which is very, very useful for the napalm right over here. Now we're just going to kind of zigzag through this area and there's going to be a fuckload of stuff to pick up. Starting on the desk or the table over here, the bench. Gonna be pipe for the pipe bomb. Spark igniter again and tin can. Thank you. Bottles and rags. And then again, napalm bottle over here. Box of nails, I think it is. Now we're gonna head back this area because it's very easy to get turned around. You kind of have to just do a sweep from right to left. Airbags, very important as well. We'll get some more of that later. Napalm and bottle right there. Alarm clocks, you need that for the, well, for most bombs. Because of the magnet. Uh, just check the top of these crates as well. Sometimes they, love, they like to spawn stuff on top of that. In here there's going to be, um, I think it's the medical. Yeah, the next one's the fuel can. So keep going straight ahead. Eventually get through this little window. Yeah, so I'm very amped to edit that uh, horde guide. And uh, that's definitely going to be the next one up. And some of the hordes are very, very easy. And I use the RPD because it has the largest clip. There is a fuel can right there. And there's poison over there for the poison bolt. Uh, kerosene over here to the right. So you get to know them pretty well. And once you've done this run a couple of times, you can do it so quick. On this table over here, there's going to be some stuff. Box of nails and a moonshine bottle, what do you say? I don't know. Some more medical supplies there. And there's normally um, med kits like this one over here inside the mobile labs. To my left, there's a fuel can as well. And another alarm clock over here. Fuel can over there. And there could be some polystyrene on that table over there. Sometimes it spawns. Uh, that's where I just was, I think, yeah. And that's pretty much it, I think. But our polystyrene's a good place inside these mobile labs along with the med kits. And then we've got one more over here, having a look. Sometimes again on these crates, they'll spawn, but nothing this time. And have one last look in here, because you might find a med kit or some polystyrene as well. Both fairly useful. Okay, the final point, and this is the, the three checkpoints that I cycle through when I'm trying to get some crafting materials. The third one is going to be in Highway 97, right down the bottom here. And you can't see it, but this is Pillet Bridge. Massive, massive horde here. Tons of fun taking them out. And it spawns you on the other side of the bridge over here, so that's where we're going to start our run. Okay, off the bat, we have, what is that, pipe? Then we have the alarm clock for the battery. Then some more pipe over here, or a pipe over here. <laughs> Moving through the checkpoint. Pipe alarm, or bottle and alarm clock. Alarm clock as well, kerosene, thank you. And beer bottle over there. And always some medical stuff inside these things. Always the cop cars, you can check for ammo. There's going to be a fuel can right here. Kerosene on the table, along with box of nails. Could be a pipe over here. Yep, there is this time. Always check, like I was saying, on top of these crates. There could always be stuff, or well, there could always be stuff spawning on top. And more pipe over there for the pipe bomb. Shit! <laughs> that door never works for me. 
rag over there and locker med kit right there now if you're lucky you can get up to three airbags which makes this area invaluable check the cars because they are completely random spawns and there's a health or a sterilizer fuel can over there these cars over here sometimes have airbags and i got lucky i did find one and then three guys woke up and started shooting so i had to take them out in here it's a couple of rags i think yeah kerosene and another pipe and there's always going to be a tin can in the corner over here here it is check the cop car for airbag but this time the airbag was right over here and then lastly there's going to be kerosene right in the middle of the whole area all right guys now i'm going to leave you with some footage of the horde for this area which is the low bridge ridge horde and this is i think it's got 350 400 uh, freakers in this but i'm going to leave you with the gameplay footage of this and this is what my next video is going to be every single horde location and how to take them down and strategies and stuff like that so if you have any questions at all guys hit me up i'm always going to reply and enjoy the footage and i'm going to catch you on the next one
Now I thought I'd chirp up here quickly. At this point, I couldn't find the remaining horde. Now there was there was a couple in this uh, in the tunnel, but it was nowhere near enough to actually finish the horde. And then what happened was quite weird because as I was exiting this area, you will see in a couple of seconds, uh, I do a bit of a fade out and the entire rest of the, the horde spawns smack bang right next to me. Like I could have used my melee weapon to hit the first one and you'll see that in a couple of seconds. So this is when it happens here. Spawned right next to me. And I didn't know how big it was. I turned around and saw that. And I was like, oh fuck, napalm, napalm, napalm. <laughs> Get out the napalm and take him out. But this is why this was, this was so much fun. Going around, I left all the hordes until the end of the game, until my character was maxed out. And just had so much fucking fun doing this. So yes guys, my next video is gonna be every single horde in the game and taking them down from the smallest to the biggest. So stick around. So as usual guys, any questions, give us a shout. I'm always gonna answer. So I want to say thanks for watching, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.